Sup everyone, Skyred here, just making sure you get that cough in there, because that's what I usually do for most of my videos. But welcome to the Red Pod, <coughs> pretty much a, um, just a regular podcast, only with a little twist on it, my little twist on it. So pretty much what we'll be talking about is pretty much anything, whatever we kind of want. But today's episode, it will be about three games, Don't Starve, Slime Rancher, and Off of Destiny. Pretty much, um, that's me and T-Blue, he's actually sitting next to me if you want to say anything. Hi, I'm T-Blue. Yep, uh, said his name again, and um, we're going to be doing, just going to be talking about it, we're going to do, uh, you know, what we think about it and stuff like that, just kind of giving a little review if people should buy it or not, you know, it's kind of just a little fun thing that I, we're starting to do, is another fun thing I mentioned in my speed run of um, right click to necromance, that this is one of the things that I wanted to do and make it kind of fun, so the first game we're going to do is um, Don't Starve, that's the first one we're going to talk about, it's loading in its pixels. Thanks, game. You're awesome. That is amazing. All right, give me a minute, everyone. Technical difficulties. Well, that's the first episode, you know, there's got to be some. All right, there we go. All right, so Don't Starve is pretty much a game where you have to survive, where you have to collect things. Watch out for monsters that are really um, interesting. Let's just say that. Um, so uh, me and Anti Blue have played it. Uh, only we've gotten the expansion pack with the shipwrecked and the... What's it called? Re Re Region of Giants. Yeah, so, yeah. He, he, me and him love playing it sometimes, and um, we have it on the Xbox. So uh, Xbox One S. Yes, we have it on the Xbox One. All right. So you want to say something? You want to say anything about it? Well, it's a hard and fun game. Like it can be hard, but it's really fun. Yeah, definitely a lot of. Um, and it's hard to get food. <laughs> hardships, not really. You know the the. One thing, because I play Shipwreck, not all the time, but most, nah, nah, I think I play it more than like one third, uh, two thirds I play regular, but um, when I play Shipwrecked, I've only played like six games of Shipwrecked, and um, five out of one, um, I've, I've died by monkeys. I, I hate the monkeys. I literally cannot get past them. Well, they screw me over five times out of six times I've played. I might have said that wrong in the beginning, but now I'm not. That's on Shipwreck, though, right? Yeah, it was on Shipwrecked. I guess monkeys don't exist anywhere except Shipwreck, and they've always screwed me over every single time I've met them. There's only one time I played the game where I did not meet them, and I survived six days. Now, that might not be good, but I didn't see a monkey, so I was happy. And you can get, if you, like, die a lot, of, like, if you get, you can get XP to get new characters. Yeah, dying... It's pretty much just a way to get rebirthed, uh, get a new character. It's pretty cool, to be honest. It's a great game. The K-Log, I think it is, K-Log Entertainment, uh, did really good on it. They also make another game, um, Oxygen Not Included. I want to play that, uh, to be honest, because I've seen some other YouTubers play it, and I thought it was pretty awesome. And when it comes out, I want to try it and see what I can do. Uh, Andy, you cannot be in the dark or you die. That, that's kind of obvious. <laughs> Well, I guess for the people who don't know, yeah, for the people who've never seen Don't Starve, you always want some light when it's dark. But um, another thing about Don't Starve is de definitely you won't starve. It's not it's not really that hard to starve. It's more you don't go insane because for whatever reason, I die of insanity more often than t I've actually never died of starvation. I've only died of insanity, monsters killing me, and darkness a couple times. Because for whatever reason, I forgot I, have a, I don't have a light source and all that. But another fun thing I like doing about the game is a two is I, I call it the two year old setting where you change everything inside the world where almost nothing can hurt you and the days are like the nights are like nothing and they're like two seconds and you're good. I actually have one world like that so far. I'm on day like nine because I don't play it a lot, but I do play the others. Highest day I've ever gotten to. It was day 13 on a shipwrecked where I actually didn't see any monkeys. No, 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 it wasn't. It was the time when I saw monkeys, but yet I kind of tried becoming friends with them, but then they killed me in the end. Okay. So, do you have any other thoughts on this? No, it's a fun game, though. Yeah, do you have any, like, uh, stories you want to share? Well, um, pigmen are your friends, but... Break down their houses. Yeah, they don't care. No one cares. No one cares. But and they, if you, oh, and there's spider eggs, and if you see one by a pigman's house, get the spiders, come back to the pigman's house, and they'll kill you. No, the, no. the pigman will kill the, pigman the, will kill the spider. spider. So this is like 101, 
just don't start one on one with yeah. uh, T Blue. Okay. Um, should we move on to the next one? <clears throat> yeah. Why not? All right. Sorry, I was just taking a little sip because I've been talking for a while. All right. So let's go back to the red pod, the main thing. Next, we slime rancher. <clears throat> Honest? Oh, it's not coming up. Of course, more technical. Right, there we go. Okay, uh, that's a little smaller, but pff, we'll be fine. So, Slime Rancher, honestly, this is one of my top 20 favorite games, gotta be honest. Because <laughs> I do have a lot of favorite games, but Slime Rancher definitely made it up there, and it was, it was probably like number 18. They haven't even finished the game yet, but when they do, it's probably gonna turn up to a, to a 17. Oh, and you can make different species. What is it called? <laughs> Portals? Like. Ports. Ports. By uh, mixing, like, um, a tabby cat with a pink slime, you can make something different. But if you, if you, like, if you do that and then mix it with another thing, it can, um, a new, like, a bad thing could come. It's called a tar. A tar could come. It's pretty, you, pretty much why I put T Blue on here because he loves just rambling on about, um, how to do stuff. So he's like, if you've never played it, you always want to listen to him because he's, he's like 101. He doesn't know what it's called, but he knows what to do. <laughs> why I know what they're called, and yeah. So we're a good combination. We're brothers, if you didn't know. Um, that's why we're two opposite colors. We may fight, but we're definitely best of friends. Best of brothers. Alright. So, um, Slime Rancher, honestly, I've, my, a really great slime farm. He's, uh, T Blue's just starting out. He started playing a couple days ago. Yeah. And he hasn't really got, he's got, he's got pretty much the basics down. Um, but. And you can trade stuff in for, like, different stuff. Yeah, there's also a stock market on there. I love that part. Because it's fun to see the stock market be like, okay, I don't need to trade this. And it's actually, like, a really good, personally, I love strategy games. They're down to the core. Just love strategy. And the best slime is the golden slime, which if you get the port, then it's, you can sell for money, three hundred and twenty-eight dollars. Oh, actually, it changes some things to the stock market. Yeah. By the way, um, I still don't. If comment down below, please. This is for my information. How to get? Um, how to like uh, capture a golden slime? For whatever reason, they disappear all the time, and I can't get them. So if you have like any strategy or anything, just comment down that below. But um, yeah, definitely a fun game. You can f it's just there's tons of aspects kind of like built into what, like kind of like the real world, only with slimes and nonfiction and stuff like that. So it's definitely fun. It's only still a demo, but I hope they make it into a full thing. So I, because I have the preview, so it should give, give me the full game. Well, I'm going to buy the full game today, even if it doesn't give me it. Because Slime Rancher, definitely a good game. Definitely try it out. It's pretty pretty much like real world farming, only with slimes and other stuff like that. Oh, and you, you have like this gun that sucks the slimes in, and you only have four, four slots to like get them, but you can shoot them out to get like more... They should update. They should upgrade the slots so you can have like six instead. Cause it's annoying with only four. That's just my thoughts though. They don't have to. And it gets like, if it's really hard, like I didn't know any information, cause I didn't know what to do, and I was like, why do I have this? Um, they give you instructions in the top corner of the. Year. I don't read it though. Yeah. Okay. That's gonna not. That's not good. You need to usually read it. All right. You have any other thoughts on Slime Rancher? It's a fun game. Like I said, it went to my top 18, top 20, it's 18, but it might go up to 17 if they, when they update it and it becomes awesome. Alright, next one will be, um, Destiny. There we go, alright. Well, that's a bigger picture than I thought it would have been. Alright, so Destiny. Honestly, I've had two, I, pl I had one account, it got deleted, so then I had to make another one, and I've recently been trying to level him up. Yeah. Well... It's, you, you, well, we got a, a pack that... We got the Taken King pack yeah. when, when we did get it. So the Taken King, had, or, Taken King had already come out, and we're like, hey, why not? Yeah. Right now we're both the same level, 26. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to come a level 27, because like I said, my account when I was a 36 got deleted. So I had to go back, go to go to another account, which is, and I had to start leveling him up. So I just took the spark and went to level 25 and went around shooting some stuff for level 26. Then I stopped there, and then I left. And you have this little drone or something like that. It's called that. a ghost. It's called a ghost, and it's this little thing who revives you, and it just helps you throughout the whole thing. And it can be a whole big challenge, because you can face stuff that you're not ready for, but... <laughs> Going against level 40s and you're level 12, it's great. And, um, like, 
you have to level up to buy stuff. Like, no, like... Or to use stuff? Yeah. But, like, you can switch stuff out to get better armor, better guns. Um, and there are bosses that aren't really hard. Kind of. If they're a higher level than you, then they're hard. <laughs> yeah, by the way, we're using a very si sensitive, um, mic. So you can probably hear me chewing. I was chewing on a cookie. We, eat, we have cookies and yeah. uh, milk. Because why not? I, because I was hungry for cookies. Why can't we eat cookies and milk? Um, so you probably heard me chewing. I'm sorry about that. But we're using a very super sensitive mic. Yeah. I'm eating a cookie right now. You can probably hear us breathing. Just <sighs> Yeah, it's, it's um, really weird. We weren't breathing that heavily. Alright. Um, so, Bad Destiny. Honestly, it is a good uh, MMO. Uh, it's awesome to be honest. It's, it did make my it did make my top twenty as nineteen. My my, t <laughs> you're probably wondering. Well, what's your what's your top number one then? Well, you'll never know until it comes up. That's right. I'm not. I'm gonna keep it a secret until I until we start reviewing it. I'm gonna. Oh, in Destiny, is your Xbox 360? I don't know if it's out for. Xbox. It's Xbox One too. Yeah. So I just wanted to clarify with you on that. Yeah, you can get it for a lot of things. And, um, Destiny is a good game. Traveler, you know. You can get into, like, the... Usually there's not a lot of lore unless you, like, go into the lore. Like, there, there's a separate... There's gameplay and then there's lore. You can either dive into the lore and gameplay or just gameplay it all the way. Which is I do. I don't really... I let other people look at the lore and then tell me on YouTube. And then I go still play the gameplay because I really don't care about the lore too much. Okay. I do like the lore, don't get me wrong. But I like the gameplay more. But you can only get to a level 40, I think. Yeah, level 40 is the highest. They, whenever they get the new expansion pack, that would be awesome for, like, level 50 or something. Even though I'm not level 40 yet, I'm still level 26. Well, I played it today, and I played against a l level 25s, and I died once, but <laughs> then you... <laughs> I, I died once. And, but then you can revive at the same spot. You no, know, like, away from the monsters. And it was fun. Like, it's a fun game. Mm-hmm. Definitely check it out if you want to, or no, it's your choice. I think there's a new expansion pack coming for it, like the Iron King or the Iron Fist or something, I don't remember. No, the Iron Fist is a Netflix show. That's coming out. Um, no, don't worry, we're not going to get into films. That's the, that'll be another episode. Probably. Yeah, so um, Disney, good game, top 20, it's 20. <laughs> it's it's kind of low down there, but hey, why not? You know, we actually just changed, like, you know, I'm going to just give everything a rating. Alright, so, at the end of the episode, I'll give everything a rating. So, you know, so any last thoughts about Destiny? Well. Other than it's a good MMO? It's a fun game? It's I a fun just, game? I just that All fun. these are fun games? Yeah, I know. Look, we, we only do the best. No, I'm kidding. We're going to do some other ones, too. Yeah. So, um, alright, so let's go back over everything. So, Don't Starve, I'm going to have to give that definitely a 7 out of 10. Yeah, and Don't Starve in Slime is only for Xbox One S. No, do no. Oh, and Xbox One. No, there's also it's for a lot actually. Oh, uh, but not for Xbox 360. Don't starve. You can get it for like PC and stuff like that. Slime Rancher. I'm pretty sure you can get it on 360 or Xbox One. I'm not sure if it's on PlayStation since I don't play a PlayStation. I don't I'm think sorry. it's. I don't. I think Slime, Slime Rancher isn't on Xbox 360 because I love today. No, oh, cool. Like I was saying, we we probably won't tell you guys what to buy it on or where to buy it on because. I'm a 360 kind of guy, or an Xbox, so, um, sorry. But, okay, so like I said, I'm gonna have to give, um, Don't Starve, I think a 6 out of 10, definitely. And then Slime Rancher, I'm gonna give an 8 out of 10, just because it's a fun game. And then, of course, Destiny, I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. So, um, there's not gonna be a lot of things at 10 out of 10, unless it's in the top 5 of my favorite games, so. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, any other things you wanna say, Tipo? Subscribe. Or Don, it's your choice, completely. <laughs> Uh, you know, touch the like and subscribe button. That's what I say personally because, hey, touch it. You don't have to slap it, punch it, s stab it. I mean, why would you stab a like button? I mean, what what they do to you? All right, so thanks for watching. Uh, three, two, one. You're going to see some technical things pop up. Maybe. There, yep, there it is. So three, two, one. The red pot. I opened up the wrong thing. <clears throat> you know, this is very technical difficulties right now. There is so much